think about it, if everything is conscious, right? Just imagine for a second, if everything was conscious and you are conscious as is your body and if concepts were conscious, okay? If distraction was a conscious thing and we went around and we hated on distraction, it would not be very happy, okay? We gotta stop judging distraction because the thing likes to be happy too, okay? It's there for a reason. <laughs> Stay away. Yeah, distraction likes to be happy, okay? Apparently, distraction is a human. Does this human thinks everything is a human? But everything is actually conscious, okay? Because if you think about it. So the element of distraction really boils down to which distractions are we talking about and what is the causality of it? As well as are we consciously choosing it or are we unconsciously somehow attracted and just it just happens to us, right? So the element of distraction that is not conscious, right? Because we know that if it's conscious, right, it is mostly because we choose to do it from just maybe our own feelings being too strong. If our own feelings are too strong and we are unable to handle them for different reasons, right? Maybe you feel everything, you feel everybody, and it's just like, well, what is me even, right? So then all those feelings, they get overwhelming and we don't know what to do about it. So then we distract ourselves because that temporary relief gives us a reprieve of all that suffering that we are causing ourselves by actually denying our own truth. Because if we're able to accept our own truth, if we're able to accept the truth of ourselves, the truth of you, if we let that actually speak, there is no need for conscious distractions because we would be able to accept what is true, what wishes to present itself, and we would no longer need to run away from it. Because when we distract ourselves, we're running away from our own feeling, we're abandoning our own feeling, we're essentially abandoning ourselves. And this form of distraction can really take many forms, like addiction is one of them. People just TV, video games, work, anything, anything, even, you know, music sometimes. Like, I would blast loud music into my ears because I don't want to hear my own thoughts sometimes, okay? Like, I had a lot of stuff happen and I'm like, well, all that stuff, the programming... I just used music to reprogram myself because I just didn't know what else to do. But it's like sometimes we just do that because, again, we don't know how to do it any better. So that is okay. If someone's ever doing that, if that ever happens to you, it's okay, right? But the essence of that, the essence of distractions that we do to ourselves is that we're not okay with distractions. We're not okay with being distracted, right? Because we kind of think of it like a negative. We don't really learn to appreciate distraction as an, a thing in and of itself because if you think about it, distraction serves a purpose. If it's a consciously chosen distraction, it takes you out of whatever you are actually feeling that you do not wish to feel. Maybe it's overwhelming for you. And it takes you out of that. It allows you the temporary reprieve of emotion to actually be okay with how you are. And in essence, distraction actually serves a purpose. It allows us to go on in life sometimes because when the feelings get too strong and we are unable to deal with them, what happens is that if we don't have a distraction, the feelings can essentially break our own programming too because of how strong it is. And so we all go at our own pace. And sometimes that pace means we have to slow down a little. And sometimes distraction just does that. Sometimes even the negative habits we might develop, they also distract us from our own selves, but maybe that is just what we need in that moment, right? Because we don't know what any of us ever needs. How do we know what we ever need anywhere ever? Besides what we think we want or we think we need, what is actually what we need? How do we know that? And what defines that, right? That thing is only defined by the feeling. Only the feeling in the universe knows what it is that you need. And so the people that too choose to distract themselves, it's because that's just what they need in that moment, and that is okay. As far as the distraction that just happened to you, right, it's the same principle in the sense that the universe knows what we need, and it happens for a reason. We don't always know the reason. Sometimes we don't look for the reason. We oftentimes get stuck in this negative rut of just, oh, well, this happened, and then we kind of get upset with it, but we tend to forget the fact that the truth of anything is not known to us, because what is truth? You know the four, uh, the Buddha's four laws, the four noble truths? He talks about the suffering being the truth, 
And he says that essentially what happens is that we're only suffering if we have this misalignment of the reality of what is actually going on and a perceived reality of what we think is going on. So essentially, our own expectations do not align with the truth of their reality and we end up being in pain. That is essentially what he says causing the suffering that we have. So a way out of that, he says that it's to recognize the fact that even though we identify with the voice in our head, it is not us, okay? The voice in your head is not you. The thing that tells you that maybe you should X, Y, Z is never you, okay? According to Buddha's Four Noble Truths, right, suffering of any sort is caused by misalignment of the truth of the reality with the perception of what we think reality is. So in essence, we are causing our own suffering by expecting things that are not actually there and this ties in very heavily with distraction because the only reason anyone ever might feel that they need to distract themselves is if they are unable to comprehend and integrate the truth of their reality of what is actually going on. So if we're unable to integrate that, if we're unable to let that flow through us, what happens is that we cause ourselves our own suffering. And then when we cause ourselves our own suffering, we end up being in such a state of just this ease. We're unease with ourselves. And so we kind of reflect that into the external reality by causing a distraction of a negative sort if that is what happens right because the external is the reflection of the internal so essentially if anyone's causing too much distractions in their own life it is because they are distracted from their own selves within themselves right and so essentially the way to get over that would just be get aligned within yourself who you truly are what is actually you and not care what nobody ever thinks or says because you are the only one that matters okay because what is the point of life if we cannot be happy? If you're here on this earth, no matter what you've gone through, right? No matter how many situations in your life have hurt you, right? What is the point of life if we cannot be happy? And at least in other words, you think that the world is a mirror, and it is. But if we're looking at ourselves in the mirror, what do we see? And so, of course, we want to see something that is happy, but we always wait for the reflection to smile instead of smiling. But sometimes we just don't smile because we don't know what that looks like. We simply have never had an example of knowing what is a smile, right? Sometimes we just don't know that. So we go expecting something to change somewhere else because we just don't know how to change it within ourselves. But the only way we can change it within ourselves and to learn what that is, is to learn what your truth is the core of it while letting go of all and any kind of fears and letting go of all and any kind of negative belief systems letting go of all the past letting go of anything anybody ever told you because nobody can put no labels on you okay you don't have no labels the only label you ever have is awareness okay you are awareness that is all that you are you may feel grateful i know at least for me personally i would say I am grateful and I like that label, but I am not actually anything. I'm just there. You know, it's like, how do you exist without existing if you're just there? So then you are awareness. So you might feel grateful. You might feel a certain way, but essentially at your core, all you are is awareness. So when you learn to integrate your truth, when you learn to integrate the truth of who you are, what it is within you that you are maybe afraid of and let go of all of that. It doesn't matter what happens because whatever needs to happen will. And if we're able to trust that and if we're able to let go of that, distractions no longer exist. Simply they just become events. What I mean when I say they no longer exist is that the distractions that we know of, the definition that we give it according to our own common human consciousness that we have in this world, we think of distractions as just this negative thing that takes you out of something that you're meant to be doing, but they're not actually negative. It's just there. Stuff is just stuff. We're used to distractions being negative because of the definitions that we have given them. But again, the whole point of this video I'm talking about now is that the negative distractions that people choose to have are not always negative. Even with the distractions that sometimes happen to us, it is there for a reason. Everything is there for a reason. Everything happens exactly the way it is meant to happen. And so it makes no sense to judge a distraction.
because it is just an event. Think about it. If everything is conscious, right? Just imagine for a second. If everything was conscious, and you are conscious, and as is your body, and if concepts were conscious, okay? If distraction was a conscious thing, and we went around and we hated on distraction, it would not be very happy, okay? We gotta stop judging distraction because the thing likes to be happy too, okay? It's there for a reason. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Like this distraction makes you be happy. <laughs> yeah, distraction likes to be happy, okay? Apparently distraction is a human. So this human thinks everything is a human. But everything is actually conscious, okay? Because if you think about it, what is consciousness? What is awareness? Awareness is an idea. The I, the ego, does not actually exist. The I is just an idea. So essentially, everything in this life, awareness, is just an idea, which is, as you are going through this life, experiencing and impacting and being impacted. So in essence, even a definition, a word, is an idea. It has an impact on us. The idea is impacted by us. And the idea carries to this world. Essentially, ideas are conscious, right? So let's stop hating on distractions. Let's learn to appreciate distractions because there is a reason for them. If you ever get distracted in life, right, try to see really that it happened for a reason. Because if you had not been distracted, you would not have gone through the same exact experience you have gone through. But because you have gone through what you have gone through, you are now where you are. But we don't know what would happen if we didn't have that distraction if, if we didn't have those behaviors or things happen to us we would not be where we are now here today things would simply be different therefore things simply are as they are and they have happened the way that they have happened and they will as they will and that's just stuff it will take us where we are meant to be and if you are ever faced with one and you find yourself in a negativity just learn to kind of know that the distraction is asking you to please find a positive meaning for it, okay? And this might sound really weird, but if I'm actually following my own words, then I should stop being distracted by the way I'm moving my hands right now because this is just moving. And just go into the fact that everything happens for a reason, right? It just literally all happens for a reason. I don't know why my hands are moving like this, but it's just moving, okay? It's just, it's just stuff, okay? Life is just stuff. So essence of distraction is the way we define it. We can choose to define it positively, we can choose to define it negatively, but it is just there as any other event in your life. And so my wish for you is that you too learn to see the good side in it, because there is a good side, and just know that everything is conscious. Distractions, if you again look at the way the consciousness functions, concepts have such a huge impact on us. Like if you think about it, like when people go through prayers so people pray there's a huge mass of consciousness that is focusing on a single thing and it has an impact so if something has an impact it is impacted and it is traveling through the course of the history and is on earth that is essentially a thing which is similar to our awareness because what are we doing in our awareness we are being impacted by others we're impacting others and we're traveling to this earth being aware of stuff right but only we know we are aware of stuff because we can communicate to each other. If I cannot communicate to you, does that mean you're not aware? No, it simply means we do not communicate properly, right? So we have no idea what is and is not aware. And that is just the truth of it, right? But I think it might help us to actually think of it like that because we're able to redefine it as something that is maybe less heavy and more light. And with that, I thank you for being you.